We might be a small school, but we are the future and we want to keep the planet the way it should be. To help with this, at our school we have been collecting crisp packets. We collected 691 in less than a month, which is amazing for a small, small school. If we don't sort this out, who knows what might happen. They might need to build houses or landfill. If, if it spreads so far, animals will have no food or habitats and they might end up eating the plastic, which would be very bad. That's why we need your help. The next thing damaging the recycling process is landfill. Landfill is becoming worse and worse as the years go by because it is getting bigger, which leads to animals' habitats being destroyed. This is because animals' homes are getting dug up and then lots and lots of rubbish is getting thrown in, which leads to animals having no homes. Landfill is also damaging nature because people are cutting down lovely bushy trees and bushes. What would you like more, wildlife and nature or dumps of rubbish? Lastly, no one would like to live next to landfills because of the smell and the view, which should make it a very unattractive place. Thirdly, pollution. Pollution is causing lots of gas, gas releases, and that is damaging our ozone layer around the world, which leads to global warming. Pollution is also creating landfill, which is extremely bad for the environment and wildlife. Toxic gases are created from pollution and contributes to global global warming as well as the release of gases. It's a very important job to do and take seriously. As well as this, hundreds and thousands of trees get cut down each year and if it doesn't get recycled, the lack of oxygen will increase until there is none left. All this recycled paper instead goes to landfill and keeps destroying all the beautiful wildlife throughout our world. Secondly, landfill. It's horrible smell of leaching toxic liquids drives people away from it. As well as this, it destroys nature, getting rid of lots of natural dirt, destroying many animal habitats, and causes global warming, as well as cars and factories. Climate change is increasing, and weather getting is more and more extreme. Something needs to be done about this immediately. My school is desperate to save our planet by recycling our crisp packets and Christmas cards, but for some reason, they're not being recycled buried underground, destroying our planet even more. Imagine all the stray dogs, cats, even bunnies out there, homeless. This is making it worse. If we don't change our ways, the events will be catastrophic and it will be too late to go back. We need to stop. This problem is staring us in the face, so we need to change the way we recycle. If we do, if something can be recycled, what is its purpose if it is not? But the point is, if something can be recycled, it should be recycled. It goes without saying that the more stuff lands in landfill, it will obviously lead to deforestation. A lot of pollution is formed by landfills, leach, leaching, which isn't good for nature, toxic gases that can harm us quite badly, and global warming. Yes, global warming isn't pollution, but it is as bad and it causes and is caused by gases. The point we had boiling summers and snow, it's all because of global warming. This problem is making pollution from gases and fumes, which are making holes in the ozone layer, which is causing the earth to get hotter. This is making the ice melt and the sea level rise and people having tsunamis in their country, therefore destroying homes and injuring people. In addition, cars and factories are producing extra fumes and gases, as well as the landfill sites. My school have recently been collecting Christmas cards and crisp packets, and have over 691 packets in such a small school. Just imagine the whole country doing it. Pollution is a major worry for me and all children. All of the pollution and gases humans are making from cars, factories and landfills, which is destroying the ozone layer. So all of the animals living in the North and South Pole, their habitats are being destroyed. Last summer was one of the hottest summers on record. It can also destroy crops, and all of the gases could affect the crops and animals so we wouldn't have any food. 
We need you to sort this world problem out. Our school have been recycling crisp packets and Christmas cards. We have collected over 691 crisp packets in less than a month. Instead of saying by 2030 you are going to decrease factory fumes, do it now before it is too late.